Ouch. As we just get a taste of the girl you know, gone to the to the him interview. But let's talk to her now. You may remember when our hot topic introduced us to this young lady back in 2014 when she was a contestant on The Voice season seven. Jamaican born singer Anita Antoinette made some serious music moves, but is now in the business of mastering money as a financial advisor. Actually, she's doing both. And then she draw and she write and she maybe we should say what you don't do. Anita, that would take us less, <laughs> less time. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Sim Sima. <laughs> oh, who got the keys to the Bima? Do you have the keys to the Bima, Antoinette? Where do we find you this morning? Where in the world are you today? I'm in uh, Connecticut. Okay. Um, in, in Hartford Hart County. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And what are you up to these days? Are you financial advising more than you're singing, or are you still trying to balance both i'm trying to balance both um right now the financial advising is the main the main sort of breadwinner right now um i just love you know what it represents what it stands for and it's not really just about the money it's about understanding what people value you know what they what they love what they don't love what they will pay money for what they don't pay money for mm -hmm. Uh, understanding how the world works, you know, the economy, uh, it's just a reflection of, of who we are and what we believe in. So, yeah, yeah. And you're helping uh, people to, to self-actualize and live their best lives, which is fantastic, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, you know, it, it's interesting because you would think music doesn't necessarily correlate uh, with the finance world, but everything correlates with the finance world, <laughs> you know? So I think for any musician out there right now who who doesn't really know how to you know go about uh, bringing their dreams to fruition, I think the best thing to do is to is to obviously work on your craft, but in tandem, right. um, you know, in tandem, understand your business, understand yeah. uh, you know where money your your cash flow, how to, how to to keep money, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, because. So yeah, go ahead. No, sorry, I'm sorry. saying I'm hearing you say that finances correlate with music, but I think um, for many people it's the other way around, right? Because music is a soundtrack to any anything you do um, in your life, and it's kind of in your veins because you're the daughter of reggae icon Clinton Ferron. So music, yeah. your band comes in music, my girl. I don't know if you could have escaped <laughs> it. Um, you left Jamaica in '96, right? Um, yeah, tell yeah. me a little bit about that adjustment and then how you pursued music and ended up on The Voice. Yeah, um, you know, it's it's funny because, you know, I always thought Jamaica was the world. You know, I didn't think there was anywhere else <laughs> but Jamaica. And, you know, I get a call, my, my brother get a call from my mom. She was in the U.S. at the time that we're, we're leaving, that we're going to foreign. I was like, what's that? <laughs> what's <is> foreign? <laughs> Where is that? Are you going on a plane? What's a, you know, what, what? So you um, hadn't traveled before? I hadn't traveled before. Wow. You know, when I came, it was so cold. I was just, I was just, this is, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? Uh, you know, and the first time I saw snow, I was like, is this white rain? You know, what, wow. what is it? I feel it. It was just a completely different world to me. Um, and, and I think the adjustment as I got older, the adjustment, I really saw the difference between what it, what, what it is to really have that, that strong Jamaican cultural background and being born in the U.S. It's a, it's a different, I think it's a different mindset. I have such a high standard of excellence and I yes, didn't know girl. where it came from. Yes, girl. Um, but but it, it's, it's definitely from the island. Yeah, <laughs> sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Jamaicans yeah. who live here and go abroad, people are always so impressed by our work ethic, how much we can get done, how much we can juggle, because yeah. it's just something you learn here. Um, so you made the adjustment and you obviously built up your confidence enough to go and audition on this big NBC show that, I mean, such a huge deal. I mean, your audition 
for season seven was dubbed the second best audition in the history of the show by TV oh, wow. Guide. That's not, I mean, that's not I a, didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Think, um, Se season, you know, season, what did you, what? Okay, I'm open now, but you're sitting in front of, yeah. you're performing in front of Adam Levine, Gwen Stefani, who else was in the show? Pharrell and Blake Shelton. How yeah, yeah. fast was your heart racing? You know, before I went on stage, my uh, my sister, because this was the second time I auditioned. Yeah. I, the difference in, in that performance and the, the first performance in season three, you know, it's when you're when you're on a show and, and, and people are telling you, you know, stand here, do this, look, look here. <laughs> this is your mark. You kind of you, you lose sight of what you're there for, and yeah. who you are and what yeah. you're what you're there to bring. And I remember one of the stagehands was like, you know, just look at me and I'll tell you when to go. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember he gave the signal and I, and I said, you know what? I'm just going to go when I want to go. <laughs> That's right, girl. That's right. I'm going to go right. when I want to go. Wow. I closed my eyes and then I just imagined I was singing to Bob Marley and then, and then I opened my eyes. It was at the very end. I didn't notice. I didn't know anyone turned what? until I opened my eyes at the very end. Wow. That's amazing. I mean, that's a very <laughs> big deal. Good on your resume, lady. Um, and then Thank out you. of that, no, you were appointed Caribbean American Heritage Month Musical Ambassador by the Institute of Caribbean Studies. You released uh, an LP called Smile, ironically. Yes. Yeah. Cool. I'm sorry. It's, Ooh, not only, it's not only called in foreign. Um, in 2017, <laughs> so what is happening with you now? And, and as far as the music is concerned, is that where yeah. you're headed or are you going to just keep your foot in financial advising and try to build music? Yeah, I'm going to try to do both because as I realized, you know, in the past three, really maybe since 2017 or 2018 until now, I've really dug very deep in the finance world. Um, and I have to say I fell in love with it too because, because it really is about aligning the goals that you have in your life. Yeah. Um, and how do you accomplish those? And there's something special about that to me. Yeah, and that... I love being able to give that to other people. Um, and the music piece, it, it's, it's internal. It's like, some, it's like a fire that just wants to erupt. You know, you can't, you, it's, it's a part of like my mental health. I can't mm -hmm. let it go. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a part of how I express myself and yeah. how I deal with, you know, the things in life that are very difficult sometimes. And so, and so it's, it's, it's very important to do both. Yeah. Um, right now I'm working, I'm working on an EP. I'm hoping to get something done within this summer. Um, I'm eliciting my best friend uh, to join me. She's an incredible, you think I'm good. <laughs> we know She's you're good. Incredible. We don't think you're uh, good. We know, we know, we know. And we're looking um, forward to seeing what's next for you. But it was such a great chat. Thank you so much for talking to us this morning. Sending Absolutely. you lots of warmth you. and sunshine and success and with your money, with your singing, with everything that you pursue. May you just knock it right out of the park. Anita Antoinette, thank you. Thank you so much. For flying thank our you. flag so high. Great to talk to you this morning. Singer and financial advisor, Anita Antoinette. That is it for this week's Diaspora Check-In.